What's up guys? Today we are watching season 2 episode 7 of The Boys. So last episode we met Lamplighter. I'm sure that's his name. We met Lamplighter who I guessed was the person that killed Mallory's family and people in my comments ended up telling me that I was right. So I'm a good guesser, okay? <laughs> What's it called? And Huey ended up getting really hurt and I was kind of scared that he was going to end up dying maybe, but he did also have a near-death experience in the first episode and I thought he was going to just like peace out after that, but he didn't. He's still alive and he's thriving. Well, I wouldn't say thriving, but he's alive, so thank God for that. But I'm ready to see his recovery process because he did get pretty hurt, so let's get into the episode. pouring into this country every day and any one of them this feels like another commercial or like an ad type thing and they want more super terrorists that's when people are pointing out that the rush to judgment by the left so he likes he likes the lightning girl i forgot her name already Stormfront, okay. You fucking supervillain? What? Are you bulletproof, motherfucker? Oh, please, I have a family, please. So he's not a fan of Stormfront, but it's like, why have the little doll thing? He's willing to speak against Bod at the hearing. We've never had Congress on our side before. Congress, please. What a bunch of corrupt fucking cunts they are. The first person to call me account, Mr. Butcher. I'm starting to think it's like a if we can trust each other. Uh, I think we can trust each other. Hold still. What do you need? I thought okay, we I thought he was more hurt than that. He's already out the hospital. What do they want? I need the full picture. Days in in New York. I'm not leaving until we talk this out. I know what I've done to you. Believe me, I know. Mom, it's not just you. She wants to work it out. I am in the middle of all of it. Alone. Honey, you're not alone. You got Huey. I thought y'all were like somewhat building away. something mm -hmm. again. Like, it's not romantically, it's but... Escape for a while. Mm -hmm. Be looking for What did she do? Did they find out about something? And Serge? No abandoning your post this time. Wait, Mother. You don't know. Well, does she know what happened last time? We need you to look after our star witness. Hey, you guys want to watch Deep Does It in the Blowhole? I don't want to watch that. <laughs> um. Classic. I love it. Butcher, it's a bleeding expensive plane ticket, all right? And I ain't got the time to just... He's dead. Your father's dead. Shit. When did that happen? Starlight pulls an H-ray. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Different strokes, man. Please don't say that in this context. <laughs> That hearing, I'm dead anyway. But what difference does it make? Okay. Drop the remote or I'll burn your fucking face off. That's pretty extreme. You want to know why they left me to babysit you? Because you're useless. He's not useless. My mom, she, uh... Shit at that as well. You're not the cock. I'm the cock. Actually, you're worse. Stop being a dick. He's really pissing me off. Hey, 
Absolutely. We need more soup! We need more superheroes! Now. They're working well together in the public. You know that. I gotta be honest with you now. I know. I know. It's okay. She's been apprehended, and she can't hurt anyone else. I can't believe this. Oh. I thought he just found out that Starlight was apprehended. Starlight has been conspiring with the people who murdered in cold blood my brother. Oh my God. Now he found out. This is your last chance to be a hero again. Come on, I mean, do you want to be the cuck or do you want to be the guy who fucks the wife? <laughs> Why use that analogy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go fuck the wife. Consensually. Come on, come on. <laughs> Consensually. Now, don't hate me. Why would I hate you? So his dad's not dead. Look, it was a trap. Idea, but you wouldn't come any other way. It weren't me. Thanks for your support. I, 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 please, please. I just want to talk. About what? You seem to be criticizing him. Two minutes. And I don't want that with you. You didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Lenny. You're the fucking reason he's dead. You let me tell you something, William. It's a shit world. Wait, what? You can't rely on no one. Like what yourself. happened to Lenny? Did they say how he died? To sink. You're a fucking monster. I just want to know God damn. This is what happens when you put them in a room together. Why try and make them, like, force them in a room together? You want to finish out the backyard? Okay, let me put. This person. Oh, hey, he's gonna show her his kid. Yeah. I feel like we haven't seen them in forever. Rebecca. All right, well, Ryan, love you to meet my girlfriend, Stormfront. Wow, he looks just like you. you this is such an awkward introduction. Hey, Ryan. I think uh, we'll be around more, a lot more. I want us to be a family. Would they get okay. rid of Rebecca to have that family? But I'm not. I just need time. Um, Maeve? He's not taking any visitors. Tell him it's Grace Mallory. That got you in. Certain involuntary manslaughter charges. I recall it was a long time ago. Doesn't expire until the statute of limitations does. Then I guess I'm turning myself in. We don't have to do this dance anymore, Joe. Do what you like to me. But some things are more important than the right thing. He's right, of course. Man. You should listen to him. No justice for your father, no revenge against Vaught. You get nothing except your family. Go. And never come back. I wish I had. Maybe he should. Maybe he shouldn't. Because you never know how it's going to go. Giving point in a storm. Did your... Your mama, she cook. You know, she's gonna have to speak one day. I feel like she might. But your family, keep them alive a bit longer. If you'd ever like to teach me, you gotta teach him. He's trying to get to know you. When you stay in. 
Seems to be having the time of his life. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, it means a lot. It means a lot. Of course. A lot. Yeah, man. A lot. <laughs> Sweet. So that place is changing A Train too. Happy birthday. What do you guys think of um, Eagle the Archer? Oh, he's like a brother to me. Yeah, he was there for me when I was at rock bottom. He's the most kind, loving person. The dude that got him into it. Personality and no church members are to have any contact with him whatsoever. Right. Yeah. What happened with him? Yeah. Alright, moment of truth. I'm either still in the system or we're about to be swarmed by guards with AKs. Why would you still be in the system now? What the fuck is this? This is not lesbian. This is not on brand. We need you ready for Congress with Elena sitting proudly behind you. Why are you trying to tell her what to do? It would be really good. Ashley, for once in your life, be a fucking human being. She just really don't sad. understand. Oh, you can thank me later, Bert. This team is your family, Michael. Tony here is your quarterback. You protect his blind side, okay? Oh, uh, that's the blind side. So, are you into any things that, you know, kids are into? Yeah. Like, uh, NBA 2K? PewDiePie? Not PewDiePie, bruh. Or, uh, what about one of your dad's movies? Did you know that your dad has his own roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take a ride on your dad's roller coaster? Can I move? We can talk about it whenever you want. Are you his mother? Yeah, no. She still has a fucking say. To give him a, a childhood you never had. We can do that if he's here with me. Please, I'm begging you, please. Because it seems like they're trying to push her out the way. And it's like, yeah, he should have a relationship with his father. But also, the father is a psycho and has a psycho girlfriend. So, it's a tough situation. I understand he's had a few surprise visitors today. Mr. Butcher, I can't apologize. <laughs> Just drives through the grass. Pain you cause sorry bastards like me. At the time, it was barely a blip on my radar. That's not a good answer. You're just making him more angry. What's your radar telling you now? And their wives and their little kiddies. Your whole fucking family dies today. That's really extreme you help me he's persuasive oh, shit. they can't just walk in and walk out with her because it seems like they've gotten in so easily i wanted to do it in front of my statue do what he gonna set the whole building on fire Is he committing suicide? So he's dead. Fuck you, man. And she's not gonna know he's there. So what if she gets out? He <laughs> goes back for the hand. Come on. God damn. 
I'd throw up doing that. That's nasty. Since do she saw the dude's body, does she think does she know he was there? I don't know. You're really getting your ass beat here. She ain't, yeah, I was about to say, she ain't dead. But Maeve's there? Okay. He has a tree nut allergy. Okay. Oh. Where's Annie? Aren't you that sweaty young man from Blue? Hi. <laughs> is that a human hand? Yes, it is. Come on. We gotta go. Uh, <laughs> awkward situation. Save you. You're a liar. You lied to me. What do you mean? You just flew me up and showed me that this house is fake, the neighbors are fake, you're fake? Boy deserves to know the truth. Listen to me. We can talk about this, okay? I know that you must feel good. Come here, son. No. No. All right, he needs his mother. Don't worry. He'll still have a mother. No. They really turned the little boy against her and took her up. and he wanted to go because he was mad at her. You are fucking unbelievable. This on his coffin. I didn't do it for him. He's a cunt. Look at her using your word. I just thought... I wasn't gonna cut my mom out of my life, that's it. And then the church and their internal research bureau leaked all this shit on me. Why did he have to cut his mom out of his life? Oh, a vault. Dr. Jonah Vogelbaum. Okay, okay. Quiet, everybody. Is that what Butch Axtarm like told them to do or something? Quiet. Or was that Mallory's thing? I forgot. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. You have five minutes to make your opening. though because it's not like people have implants in their head or maybe maybe they do how who is doing it he's ready to beat some ass but I don't freaking blame him he went through a lot just to get that dude the test of or whatever for the trial he died so many other people died and i just want to know how i want to know who did it because the same thing happened to the lady who was supposed to help huey and them like a few episodes ago like her, her head exploded you know they killed so many people even like other soups because there was like another soup that i saw that was there head exploded i thought the other lady's head was about to explode but it didn't so she's still alive but it's like what is that gonna do they went through so much just for this trial to happen and now it's not gonna happen because of their head like everyone's head exploding pisses me off because it's like what are they gonna do now i don't even know what plan they can come up with literally so that happens lamplighter 
committed suicide and set his body on fire. He had to take his hand. That was kind of funny, but really brutal. Anyways, when Annie saw that Huey came for her, it was such a sweet moment because, like, you could tell in her face that she wanted to hug him or something, but she didn't. I'm kind of sad. I was hoping they would, but oh well. But with all of that that happened, I just want to know what happens next because I don't know where it can go from there. That was their whole plan. Now it's gone. It's a dead plan because people died. Come back for episode. What episode are we on? We're on episode seven, so eight. Come back. <laughs> Come back for episode eight. <laughs>